Well, the biggest wheel, the biggest wheel I, ever did see I ever did see was on that big, big 18-wheeler coming down the road at me. And the largest load, largest load you ever did see, you ever did see was on that big, big 18-wheeler coming down the road at me. Rolling on, rolling on. Little trucks into the sun Rolling up, rolling down Doing their job in every town Look around cause they're in your town And the loudest blast, the loudest blast I ever did hear I ever did hear Was on that big, big 18 wheeler Coming all the way down here And the coolest cab, coolest cab You ever did see was on that big, big 18-wheeler Coming down the road at me It was rolling, rolling, keep on rolling Coming down the road at me This place is huge. What goes on in a truck stop? Anything and everything that has to do with repair and servicing of trucks. Over there is where the truck tires are repaired or replaced. There is where the truck engines are serviced. Is a car wash for trucks. This place is just too awesome. Are you sure your dad won't mind me coming here with you? No way. Besides, he's cool. Look, there's my dad now. Dad! Dad, it's me, and I brought a friend of mine from school. Hi, Mr. Tom. Dad? Dad, it's me, your favorite son, your only son. Here, grab a leg and help me pull him out. It's the wall, I'm being hijacked. Hi, Mr. Toft, I'm Jennifer. <sighs> I go to school with your son. Uh, hi, Jennifer, uh, nice to meet you, but I'm not Mr. Toft. Oh, and this isn't my son. I am so sorry. See, I, I thought you were my dad, he runs this place. Hi, I'm Steven, who are you? Hi, I'm Hard Hat Harry. Uh, genie by profession, trucker by choice. You're a genie? That's right, Jennifer. Genie, third class. You're not a genie. There's no such things as genies. <sighs> Another skeptic. Have ye no trust? Watch. Ask yourself the age-old question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Think about it. All right, you are a genie. That old chicken and egg trick works all the time. And you're right, I am a genie. But what are you doing here? Well, I was just about ready to experience life on the road as a trucker. And that's why I was underneath my rig changing the oil. Do you like trucks too? Like trucks? Like trucks? Why, well, I love trucks. All kinds of trucks, like these. Small trucks, big trucks, glass trucks, and sweeper trucks. Trucks that move cars and trucks that move rocks. Trucks that carry food and trucks that look like food. 
trucks that drive over bridges and trucks that become bridges. Say what? Are there really trucks that look like food and trucks that turn into bridges? Do trucks travel? Do tires turn? Do trucks have horns? I mean, horns? <laughs> ah, that's right, Jennifer. There are trucks that look like food and bridges that look like trucks. But I'll show you more of that later. There are all kinds of trucks for all kinds of jobs. Boy, does your dad work on any of those kinds of trucks? Well, I'm, I'm sure if he could if he had to, but I've never seen any interesting trucks like those around here. Interesting trucks like those? Interesting trucks like those? Why, Stephen, all trucks are interesting. I mean, look around you. All these trucks here have a special story to tell. What? You don't believe me? A full-fledged genie of the third class? Well, all right, well, then I'll prove it to you. Oh, but first you have to wear one of these if you want to be a real trucker. There, that's better. Now, I'll prove to you that I'm a genie. Pick any truck here that you want. Pick any truck. Mm, Go on. that one? OK, that's good. Let's do it. Oh, whoa. Isn't she a beauty? Look how long this is. This is the trailer. And this is the cab or the tractor. Trailer, tractor, trailer, tractor. Oh. Got the point? We got the point, but why does it come in two cars? And what kind of thing does it carry? And how come it has so many wheels? Whoa, my it... little highballer. Downshift your limbs and slow up a bit. All right, let's take these questions one at a time. The reason why the tractor is separate from the trailer is so that the trailer can be brought to different locations and loaded or unloaded, as the case may need be. But how? Oh, simple. Come here, guys. Watch this. These are the truck's legs or dolly wheels. First, you take the crank and you turn it. See? Let me try. OK. You know, why are we doing this? There's a much easier way. Hold on. Wow, it's already down to the ground. That's right. OK, kids, now it's time to move back. Move back. There, that's better. Now, once the wheels are down, the tractor can safely pull away from the trailer. Hey, watch this. Okay, question. When's a wheel not a wheel? When it's a fifth wheel, which is what this is called. See this? I'm over here. See this? That goes here. What are you guys doing over there? <laughs> Come here and look at this. That's really neat. I, I knew that. But if you knew that, did you know this? Now, in cars, the engine is under the hood. But in trucks like this one, the engine is under the hood. What? Far out. Uh, I knew that. I did. I knew that. Look how big it did is. Did you know that trucks like these travel an average of 400,000 miles per year? No, I didn't know that. Well, they do. My dad says that it's like driving all the way across the country 
from Los Angeles to New York and then back again every week. Wow. Well, do you guys want to look at this cab? Do wheels turn? Do truck horns blast? Uh, oh, oh, that's okay. I, I think I'll take that as a yes. All right, well, help me close this. Okay. Come on. As with any driver, safety and comfort are important. But with truck drivers, safety and comfort are essential. For instance, one of the reasons why truckers sit up so high is so they can see better. And look at these controls here. This here oh, tells the truck driver how hot the engine is. This one tells him how much oil pressure there is. This one shows him how fast he's going. And these are very important. These tell him how much air pressure he has. And the air pressure is what works the brakes in order for the truck to stop. Communication is also very important for truck drivers. Today, most trucks are equipped with a computer, which tells them where they're going and what kind of a load they need to pick up and where they're going to take it. It also comes equipped with a CB radio or cellular telephones. Now, cellular telephones allow the truck driver to make personal or business calls anywhere in the country, and CB radios allow a truck driver to talk to anyone up and down the highway. Watch this. <clears throat> Yo, good buddies, this is Highway Harry. Come on back. What's he saying? Allow me to translate. Yo, good buddies, this is Highway Harry coming at you. Come on back. Harry calls himself Highway Harry, and he's asking any other truckers listening to answer his call. Uh, fellow road hogs, this is Highway Harry. I got some 1012s at my side. 1012s at my side means he has some friends with him. That's us. And this load's looking for a 1013 on the big I-5. And now he's asking for the traffic and weather conditions on the Interstate 5. Really good, Stephen. You're right. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Is that you, Highway Harry? This is Big Rig Betty here. Why, it's been a month of detour since I've heard your voice. How they rolling, Harry? Uh, a 10-4, Big Rig Betty. Uh, what you hauling? I got me a reaper full of 40,000. It's another trucker, and her name is Big Rig Betty, and she is driving a refrigerated truck full of candy. But she's a woman. Of course she's a woman. There are lots of women truckers. Shh, let's listen. Uh, say, Big Rig Betty, what's on that 1013? Your wish is my command. <laughs> Other than a 1046 by the interchange. Other than a stalled motor at the interchange. Big eyes running five by five. Traffic is clear and running smoothly on Interstate 5. But keep them peeled for some 1073s via the bubble machine. 1073s are speed traps, and bubble machines are police helicopters. Say, Harry, are you ever going to tell me how you fix this old rig of mine? Ever since you did whatever you did, she runs like a brand new truck. Well, I told you already, Big Rig Betty. It was magic. Harry, you kid are you? Well, whatever you did, thanks again. You gotta go. This is Big Rig Betty. Going 10-7. 10-7 means she's leaving the airways, turning off the radio. I didn't know there are women truckers too. Oh, there are, and good ones too. Hey, do you guys want to check out the rest of this cab? That's a big team for good buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, while we're up here. Let's take a look at the sleeping quarters. They're right behind you. The convenience of bringing along your own bedroom works great. You can drive until you get sleepy. And then you can pull over and rest. Or if there are two drivers, one can drive while the other one drives. <laughs> Harry, stop it. this is awesome and comfortable too. Hey, was I right or was I right? Is trucking great and interesting or what? You were right, Harry. This truck is interesting. But why do they call it an 18-wheeler? 
because it has 18 wheels, that's why. I can <laughs> see that. But why does it need so many wheels? That's a good question, Jennifer. Come on, I'll show you. Truckers have to do their job come rain or shine. Now, this is the tractor or cab part of the truck. Now, it has 10 wheels, two up front and eight in the back. The wheels are used to help pull heavy loads up hills. Now, the trailer part of the truck has eight wheels. Come on, I'll show you. These wheels are used to help carry or support the weight of cargo that's being shipped. That's why these rigs are called 18-wheelers. Now, that's an answer. I knew that. What other interesting trucks do you know about? Well, as I told you earlier, Stephen, all trucks have an interesting story to tell. You want to see what I mean? Boy, would we! Let's go for it. All right. Well, in the words of Big Rig Betty, your wish is my command. <sighs> now, let's see what I can show you. Oh, there's a truck with an interesting job. It helps keep your neighborhood clean. It's called a street sweeper, and that's exactly what it does. It sweeps the streets. Its rotating brushes sweep up dirt and litter the same way you sweep it up at home. How come it's spraying water? I know why. The water keeps the dust and dirt from spreading. You're absolutely right, Jennifer. Oh, now there's a truck with a useful but dangerous job. It carries gasoline to your local filling station. It's called a tanker truck. Tanker trucks are like giant bottles on wheels. They can carry all types of liquid cargo. That particular tanker can carry up to 8,000 gallons of gasoline in a single load. That's enough gasoline to fill your family's car every week for the next 10 years. 10 years? That's what the man said. Every week for 10 years. Pepsi, anyone? Now that you mention it, I am kind of thirsty. Well, then you should be interested in this next truck because that's where this can came from. That truck over there. It's called a beverage truck, and it's called that because... It carries beverages! Exactly. In this case, drinks like Pepsi Cola, Mountain Dew, and Slice. Yum! Why does the truck have so many doors? It is common for trucks, like this one, to have five separate compartments on each side of the truck. Each compartment is designed to carry up to 105 cases of drinks depending on the size of the can or bottle. By putting their bottles and cans in these smaller compartments, it protects them in case the truck needs to make a sharp turn or a quick stop. Like most drivers, he has a schedule to keep. It's his job to see to it that all the stores on his route never run out of the beverages you and I like to drink. Why is he taking all those drinks back to his truck? Because those are empty. Not only does the driver deliver bottles and cans, he also picks up the empty ones to return to the place where they make the drinks, so they can be recycled. Those trucks were neat. You were right, Harry. Every truck is interesting in its own special way. What other kinds of trucks are around here? Well, how about if I show you a truck that isn't a truck? Say what? Well, rather than tell you a picture is worth a thousand words, trucks are here, trucks are there, trucks are almost everywhere. Search we high, search we low. It's different kind of trucks I want to show. <coughs> Boy, there's a lot of dust around here. <coughs> that's because there's a lot of construction going on. But where's the truck that's not a truck? You're looking at it. I finally figured out what you were talking about, Harry. These are neat. You fill them with trash, and when they're full, they turn into a truck and drive away. It's like a big version of my brother's room, only this one's got wheels. Oh, ooh, pee, you. I'd hate to see your brother's room. So do my parents. <laughs> oh, 
Here comes another interesting truck with its own special story. It's called a tow truck because that's what it does. It tows cars. It tows trucks. It even tows other tow trucks. And they can do that because they're uh, like me. Yeah, right. Well, there are lots of other great trucks with great stories right around the corner. Come on, let's go. Uh, here, uh, you guys are heavy. Uh, come on. Whoa, get a load of this place. It's pretty cool, huh? This is your city's maintenance yard, and this is where trucks, which help keep your city running smoothly, are serviced and repaired. Let's take an up-close look. Come on. OK, now, some trucks are called street sweepers. Do you know why? Because they sweep the street. Exactly. Now, there are also trucks that are called tow trucks. Do you know why? Because they tow cars and other trucks. Right. Now, there are also trucks like these that are called cherry pickers. Do you know why? Because they pick cherries? Ah, wrong. Oh, that's OK, Stephen. It was a trick question. Trucks like this aren't called cherry pickers because they pick cherries, but because they could if you wanted it to. When someone needs to get up high to work on things like trees and power lines, they use a truck like this one. Once at the destination, the driver or his assistant climbs into the truck's bucket. That's what this is called, a bucket. He can go up, go to one side, or the other, or go back down. Oh, what do we have here? What we have here, Harry, is a garbage truck. To be more precise and to be politically correct, this is actually called a sanitation truck. Right, Harry? That's right, Jennifer. Today, we no longer have Garbage. We have environmental waste. What's this thing for? This is um, a time saving, labor saving, money saving apparatus. Most garbage, ooh, sanitation trucks require two or more people to operate the vehicle. One person drives while two or more other people load the trash into the truck. But with trucks like these, robotics make it possible for one person to do the work of two or three people. Well, here, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, first, I need a trash can. Oh, well. Whoa, cut me some slack in here! I was wondering where you guys went. Where we went. Ah, now, this is neat. Watch this. Containers like this one have wheels. Ugh. So after you fill them up with trash, you just roll them out to the curbside and leave it there. Everything else happens automatically. The truck driver will pull up alongside the curb, right next to your trash can, and then he'll push his lever. Then the robotic arm swings out, grips the can, lifts it up, turns it upside down, and dumps the trash into the truck. And the driver can make sure the can is empty by shaking it up and down. Now the trash, or the waste, goes into the top of the truck called the hopper. And when he's sure the can is empty, he sets it down and drives on to his next stop. But where does all the trash, I mean, in, environmental waste go? The driver pushes a lever, and part of the inside wall of the truck pushes everything back so more garbage can be put in it. Over 10 tons. Then what happens? Oh, I know that. I learned it at school. 
Once the trucks are full, they are taken to landfills where they're empty. Once the landfills are full, they are covered over with dirt and eventually turned into parks and golf courses. Neat, huh? Well, I guess so, but some of these trucks are pretty weird looking. Weird looking? Those trucks aren't weird, they're just different. If you want to see weird, I'll show you weird. How about a truck that looks like a hot dog? This is the famous Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. It was designed to look like a... A giant hot dog. Good eye, Jennifer. All of a sudden, I'm getting hungry. Then, of course, there's the powerful snowblower, or snowplow. Its mighty blades cut through the snow, blasting it into the sky. Totally rad! And speaking of blasts, how about this truck and trailer? It's used by the police to handle explosives. That's why they call it the bomb truck. And I surely can't forget always popular monster trucks. They speak for themselves. Need I say more? How about a big rig that gets loaded with carrots and then unloads its carrots into another big rig? And then they package them just for you. And my personal favorite, the bridge, that's a truck. And the truck, that's a bridge. Now that's what I call weird. You got my vote, Harry. Mine, too. Oh, no, I have to get you guys back. I still have to change the oil under my rig and hit the road. Why are you in such a hurry? Because I'm behind schedule, and like all truckers, I have a schedule to keep, but I'm behind on mine. Well, is there anything Jennifer and I can do to help? Yeah, can we help? Yeah, hold on. <sighs> OK, all right, all right. Now, you guys know what to do on the count of three. One, two, three. Don't rush, Harry. If you make a mistake, changing your oil can be really messy. Or even worse, you could hurt yourself. Ah, uh, yeah, get me out of here! Here, Jennifer and I will help clean you up. Whoa, my little rig riders! Put your brakes on and watch this. Oh. Much better. After all, I'm a genie, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the biggest we well, the biggest we I ever did see I ever did see was on that big rig 18 wheeler coming, coming down, down the road at me. Ow! And the, the biggest, biggest load, load I ever did see I ever did see was on that big rig 18 wheeler coming down the road at me. Well, the biggest wheel, biggest wheel I ever did see, I ever did see, was on that big rig 18 wheeler coming down the road at me. And the largest load, largest load you ever did see, you ever did. Was on that big, big 18-wheeler Coming down the road at me Rolling on, rolling on Big trucks, little trucks into the sun Rolling up, rolling down Doing their job in every town Look around, cause they're in your town And the loudest blast the Loudest blast I ever did hear I ever did hear Was on that big, big Coming all the way down here And the coolest cab, coolest cab You ever did see You ever did see It was on that big, big 18-wheeler Coming down the road at me It was a rolling, rolling Keep on rolling Rolling, rolling Keep on rolling Coming down the road at me Well, 
of the biggest wheel, biggest wheel I ever did see. I ever did see was on that big, big 18 wheeler coming down the road at me. And the largest load, largest load you ever did see, you ever did see was on that big, big 18 wheeler coming down the road at me. Rolling on, rolling on. Trucks, little trucks into the sun Rolling up, rolling down Doing their job in every town Look around cause they're in your town And the loudest blast, the loudest blast I ever did hear I ever did hear Was on that big, big 18 wheeler Coming all the way down here And the coolest cab, the coolest cab You ever did see You ever did was on that big, big 18-wheeler coming down the road at me.